Lone Wolf Customs once again coming back at you. Coming from my secret base garage in the Appalachian Mountains. What's up? Done some work. <laughs> Let's see. Got the rail, got some of the rails in. They're two foot on center. Got some more metal. Designing and figuring what I'm doing here. Got some expanded. Put a jack together for the tongue. Using a Harbor Freight base piece, a house trailer jack like that trailer would have for this tongue piece and I welded my own little tab which was parts off of this it's got a tongue yeah it's got a tongue been disassembling this thing as it looks different <laughs> actually I think start the snow maybe a little bit anyways <clears throat> cutting welding putting all this together Now the key, oh, for the ones that want to know, my arm's doing fine. It's uh, healing nicely. Healing nicely. Into the garage. <clears throat> and my new toy caught in. And I've been using the piss out of it. So the people that know what this is, know what it is. The people that don't... It's a plasma cutter. 220, 110, it was 200 bucks off of eBay. You know. And frankly, it works pretty good. You know. Now, how long is it going to last? Is it going to endure the abuse that is a lone wolf? Who knows? But, <clears throat> and it actually came. Actually came with the air chuck piece too, so that seems to be kind of interestingly different because most of the time they don't. But I've been using the fists out of it, and it works. I considered since my arm to go that route, just for the fact that you know messed up my arm. Maybe I don't want to mess my arm up no more. Potentially. <clears throat> but. You know. Been using it. To cut those. Cut the bolts off. And what not. And of course I wasn't. Really trying too well. To keep those straight. Because I'm going to grind them to fit the frame anyways. But it cuts good. I've cut up to a quarter inch so far. And. It really doesn't care. <laughs> and cutting on the frame over here. <clears throat> you know. Where those pieces were like this. There's no way I could have cut that out like that. With. You know. A grinder. You know. I could have cut here. Might even be able to come in this way and cut there. But it would have been a real pain in the ass and 
a lot more likely it's going to grab and jerk me. But so that's currently where we're at on the trailer. I've just been pickling away on it. You know, these are set down the thickness of a two by by you know clamping that together like that to get my spacing. So when the two by sixes go in. This part will be on top, and the boarding will be right there, so it'll be more like that. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've got one, two, three, three more here that uh, needs to go, which are those. Got some more metal over there to cut, which will end up back there. That will basically go more or less right there. But I gotta figure out exactly how I'm doing this, if I'm gonna, how far I'm pushing it off. You know, cause this ain't gonna be there, it'll be more out here. And then of course that's gonna come up here. And then go across, and this, all this is the deck of the trailer. Which is 18. And then from here forward is the tongue. Which... This is a house trailer tongue assembly and the welds aren't the prettiest but they're definitely definitely heat put deep in so <clears throat> boxed off the end which I might go over all that again weld some more I don't know for more of the cosmetic but that's what I'm doing that's what I've been doing this is technically what I did yesterday. Today, not sure what I'm doing because it's kind of starting to sprinkle snow. Um, bought a battery tender for the tractor. I'm not 100% sure if it will start and run. Turn the key on, put some no, let's try it. no choke. No choke. Let's turn the fuel on. I know terrible video work today. Alright. Fuel's on. Let's give us air. I didn't get it the last time. It's about 40. Let's see about this. I ain't even got the choke turned on. Which, the choke is kind of a rig. 
just got a cable coming out the side. Yeah. I ain't wording with that. All right. Thanks for coming to see the update. Um, you know, do the UTV stuff and all that commenting and like and stuff. Um, I do want to do one thing. I want to shout out one of my subscribers. Because consistently, he's... Oh, it's sleeting. Consistently, he comments almost every single one of my videos. And I appreciate that. And everything, so... So lucky. Here's your shout out. You know, he didn't ask for it. But, you know, thank you for commenting and everything. Um... So, thanks for watching. Check back next time. Bye.